Advances in metamaterials had led have led to fascinating discoveries, such as the perfect lens, a lens with uh, infinite resolution. Uh, also, invisibility cloaking structures have come of this. So these are the kind of applications, the most fantastic applications, that have uh, received a lot of media coverage. I'm an associate professor in uh, the Radiation Laboratory in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. Uh, my research area uh, is uh, applied electromagnetics. My research encompasses uh, metamaterials and antennas and trying to bring these two concepts together. Uh, so metamaterials are these uh, sub-wavelength textured structures, so artificial materials. The word meta is Greek, which means beyond, so these materials exhibit properties beyond those found in nature. What's exciting about being part of this metamaterials research area is that it's in its infancy, it's an emerging area, and you don't know where you're going next with it. Metamaterials uh, enable uh, antenna miniaturization. and. Uh, it's important to miniaturize antennas since they're typically the largest component in a wireless device. So by miniaturizing the antenna, we can miniaturize the, the mobile device itself. I really enjoy teaching, uh, sparking the curiosity of students and really getting them excited about uh, a new subject. Major design courses uh, are, have been the most fulfilling for me uh, since students actually get to uh, build and design real systems. There's been a, a wide variety of projects uh, in, in, in the major design course that I teach, EECS 430. These have ranged from building a wireless connection from scratch, just from components between two different laptops, um, building a, a, G, a GPS system with which you can track a user across, for example, North Campus. We had the RAX group that worked on a microsatellite and which was actually sent into space, so this was quite exciting. I would encourage students to, to join a group for a summer, to, to talk to different faculty out there, and to experience research for themselves, because by not doing so, you just might be missing out on something real big.